time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. Uh, we're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our live. Let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank. Hey! Hey everyone, welcome to Power Hour Live on a Monday, October 28th. S&P up 22, NASDAQ up 33, Russell up 36, Dow up 326, gold flat, silver slightly green, notes and bonds a little bit red, 10-year yield up 1%, oil, energy getting crushed, oil down 6%, natural gas down over 10%, all the grains, red, euro in the pound, slightly green, Bitcoin up almost 3.5%. Sitting at 69,595. VIX contracted about this much overnight, down 5%, sitting at 19.32. My big trades, I've had three put sides stopped on my normal VIX, up about 1,900 currently. Uh, my price action VIX, up about the same. I've done three tranches up a little over 2K on those. This is a one lot I've got left on one of those. Pretty centered. Getting close to, or it's over 60%. Just letting it go. It's 20 wide. Um, Let's see, what else? Oh, uh, Wooga. Just posted my early Wooga. which is on the 30s and 35s, currently centered. That's my early Wooga, and then my normal time one, I did an NDX, and that's on the 370s and 390s. I've done a 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 3, 2, 4, 3, 4 double calendar today. Took off a three five three six three seven. Let's see, my three set, yeah, all my three five three six three seven were all profitable. Three five booked three percent, three six booked six percent, three seven booked five percent, and all my others are up a little bit, anywhere from one to six percent higher at the moment. Oh yeah, I meant to mention Dark Avenger in the, I meant to mention that in the calendar chat. My 1-4 did not fire. So I went ahead and just skipped it. Getting a little bounce here. I figured I'd have I had enough exposure anyway, so I just went ahead and skipped it and let my 2-4 go. Individual stocks, DJT rocking again, up 20%. Things been on absolute fire since it hit a low of 11.75 on September 24th. Just over a month later, it's trading at over 46. All the cryptos up, Riot Blockchain, Coinbase, Chinese stocks up, Baidu's up 4%, Baba is up almost 3 Like most of the banks are a little bit green. NVIDIA is uh, slightly red. So is Netflix. Tesla's down 1%. Taiwan Semiconductor down 3.5%. Boeing down over 1.5%.
I took three day trades today. I was not, I did not end up profitable. Coinbase, I took an upside uh, continuation runner. So it bounced above yesterday's high and was kind of chopping here. And when it broke down, I took a small loss on that one. Uh, my other one was Tesla. I took a mighty 90 short, pushed against me some, came down. I got out of that for a small profit. And my other one was, oh yeah, AMD. I was looking at this as an upside continuation runner. Started chopping above the pre-market highs, above yesterday's high, and then but when it came down below, I just cut it. Small loss. So nothing, nothing big, nothing great. Be looking at a straddle if I got in anything new here. Otherwise, I'm just letting my Wugas and my remaining little bit contracts roll. Oh, I do have a, I uh, forgot my loser here was I did a discretionary Rick. Which is not looking so hot. I need above 44 to break even. Pretty muted price action today. It's like we had a high of about 40, almost 43, low of 24. No, of course, no scheduled news events today. Tomorrow, 30 minutes after the bell, we have consumer confidence and jolts. Wednesday, pre-market, ADP, non-farm employment, and advanced GDP. Thursday, pre-market, core PCE, and some, and some employment data. Friday, pre-market, some more employment data. And we've also got some big boy earnings this week. Uh, the biggest one for today, I may do something in is PayPal. It's pre-market tomorrow morning. And then after the market closes tomorrow, we've got AMD and Alphabet. After the market on Wednesday, we've got Microsoft, Meta, and Coin. And Roku, Starbucks. Before the bell, Uber. After the bell, Thursday, Amazon, Apple, Intel. And a couple energy stocks, Friday, pre-market.
Still just kind of chopping. I haven't checked the butterflies yet. Let's see, a 30 butterfly. Currently trading for about a dollar fifteen. Yeah, that was actually why my uh, one four didn't fire the amount I had it allocated a specific capital amount, and because of the price of it, it was it was too much. I didn't realize it until after the fact, and so I just decided to skip it. But figured I've got one two one three to close out tomorrow, so I was good with the current exposure. Well, there's a possibility of multiple pins on my BIX today, if we can not get crazy here. My very first tranche, 8.45 a.m., still good. My 9.15 a.m., still good. My 12.25 is still good. It's the 25 and 40s. So three possible pins. We can stay in a tight range. Uh, just in my trade plans channel, Chessmaster, the back test link shows all the criteria for it. It's a pretty simple trade, so there's not like a full course or anything. You can also check out Tim Weiss's channel and the P90X channel. He's been putting together some wooga like strategies that he's been trading. This last contract of this BIC, it's been sitting up about 460 bucks for, feels like an hour. It's 20 wide, so I'm considering just letting it go to the bell. It's been a good day to be selling zero DTE premium, that's for sure.
I might possibly still take a straddle here. Watch it for a little bit. Just like you said, Elliot, I've just been keep I keep waiting for this thing to break out in one direction or the other, but geez, just keeps treading water. Yeah, that Rick is going to be, well, you never know, but not looking good. If I did a straddle, I would buy the five cent wings. It's the cheapest, cheapest ones available. Maybe 10 cents on the put side. The VIX is climbing. SPX isn't going anywhere and VIX is climbing. No, I've already got a Wooga. It would be something I would scale out of. All right, I'm going in on the 30 straddle. Build at 630. I put a $4 trailing stop on it.
Just keep chop, chop, chopping away. Take a couple off at five bucks, 20%. I mentioned it before, but I will not be doing any double calendar entries on Friday, this Friday for next week with the, of course, with the election next week. And on that Tuesday, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I, I doubt I'll do any Bix or zero DTE. The day after. Or maybe the day of, too. I don't know yet. I was going to look at PayPal. PayPal has kind of been stuck between 83 and... 50 kind of on its way up. I'd probably do a bullish fly. It's got an expected move of about six and a half. Currently trading at 83. Yeah, this is the only one. PayPal is the only one for today. They announced tomorrow morning. I'll I'll do I'll probably do little little plays on the other ones too, but not until the day of. I would like to also do some VXX VRRs prior to the election. Had that pop on Friday. It's down 5% today, but if we get another spike here in the next week, I'll start 
scaling into some VXX trades. We've got AMD this week. Got Google. Microsoft. Meta. Coin. Roku. Starbucks. Uber. Uber hit that all-time high a couple weeks ago. Amazon. Apple. Apple just under its all-time highs. Intel. Chad coming in off the uh, elk range with a double wooga. about 50 more cents to hit my 20%. Little bounce would do it. Nope, I am not, Krish. I mean, what a shack, Chad. You guys are roughing it. Is that Charles Schwab's old pad? Thirty cents away, just freeze right here. Thirty butterfly trading for a buck sixty already.
boy. Close my Rick. No Ricks on Mondays, Elliot. Told you about that. Well, I would think I'm hitting my 20% pretty close. Still 30 cents away. Need to hold right here for a little bit. Back down to 30. I mean, it's been a while since we've had this kind of range. There's a real tight range back on the 18th, just just eyeballing the, the daily chart. There's a pretty small range on the 10th, but today is very tiny. Iwuga's up 45%. My NDX Wuga's up about 20. Uh, my regular Bix, I just let go to the close. Now I did have a situation today. I've I've had this situation quite a few times where my very last tranche, it'll only fire one side. So this one fired and I waited a few minutes. And so I ended up closing it 
because it didn't look like it would it could find the price for a for the put side and then four minutes later it found it so i just i manually closed those and i i booked a little bit of profit they would be even more profitable had i held them but it was only five wide also you know once i get down to five wide or a straddle on those regular ones sometimes i'll i'll shut those off but for the most part yeah i just let these ride all the way to the close And then, of course, my price action ones I scale out of. Me just a couple points down towards 30. I guess I'll start adding my butterflies here. in the 30s and 35s. I always let my ricks go, uh, Maestro, but I just closed mine because I needed to free up my strikes. Come on back down. Here we go. Little more. Still about 25, 30 cents away. Just one more point would do it. One more point down.
So close. Sitting at 32. If we could get to 31, it would hit. Creeping higher. Not what I'm looking for. That is not what I'm looking for. Thirty-five fly still looks like it's trading for buck sixty-ish. My Iwuga is the 3035, which is pretty centered here. My OG Wuga used NDX. And that is on the 370, 390s. Come on back down into the low 30s. About 25 minutes to go. Might take one of my three e woogas off at fifty percent. Let's see here. That would be two thirty-five. U.S. envoy to the U.S says we believe this should be the end of the direct exchange of fire between Israel and Iran. End of fire between Israel and Iran? 3.45 p.m. Eastern time. We expect comments from ECB's Gwindos. Text is expected. Hmm. Looks like there might be a little bit of peace in the Middle East. According to Financial Juice.
35 fly trading for about a dollar 75 ish. Still need a little red bar. I've not gotten out of 20% of my straddle yet. And there is 50% on Iwuga. Took off one of three. And there's 20% on my straddle. Beautiful little red bar. Coming up on 20 minutes to go. We expect to commence to participants when DOS is speaking at the rim. Text is expected. Take one of my NDXs off at six bucks if it gets there. I'll take another little red bar back down to 30. Right in between strikes, looks like my 30 flies trading for a buck 40. 35 flies trading for about a dollar 80.
about seven minutes till MOC. Got my next profit target on my straddle at $2, just as kind of a placeholder. It's currently trading at 480. Just trying to milk this action for all it's worth. Well, I can. Uh, Dave S. I had, I had that. I had him reach out several times, shortly after the transition, but not not recently. Come on, back down to 30. About four minutes till MOC. But it too is showing signs of moderation. Even with a uh, price at about 33, my 35 fly is getting closer. It pushes up to 35, it should fill. We can get to a strike. We may get filled before MOC.
<laughs> That's pretty funny discount. says the risks to the growth outlook remain elevated and talks to the downside. Well, coming back down to 31. My 30 fly is not too far away from filling. One minute till MOC. Come on, hit it. 30 is close. Chiefs are 7 and 0 by the way. In case you guys were wondering. Forgot to mention that. I know you guys were interested. Seven hundred and forty million sell side and filled on the thirties. All right, need to move away from thirty. Oh, oh, there we go. Now I'm filled on all of them. That was a partial to begin with. Bot also filled on the thirties. My straddle is nice and centered. Got an order at two bucks, still trading at 370. Put that at three bucks. Close another one. Back below 30. My NDX Wuga is close to hitting 50%. VIX is creeping. Need to push down to 25 for a lock and then back up.
And then the 26. VIX up to 19.72, close to highs of day. NDX ticked a new low of day. SPX almost did. Six minutes to go. My NDX just hit. Just got one of those left. Five minutes to go. Oh, there's a little down move. Should be close to locking on my homes. Locked. Locked on my homes. All right, let's bounce back up now. A little bounce for Wooga. And my remaining straddle. Four minutes. Need above 25 and a quarter for Iwuga. Took one off at 50%. Little bounce. Let's get a little bounce going. A little bounce into the close. Oh, yeah, I was going to do PayPal.
back up to 26. One minute. Uh, Eli, the, the bot just takes the butterfly with no vertical. And then my order templates, I, I lock in with the vertical. Fifteen seconds. Let's get a little bounce into the close. Ding ding ding. Ooh, a little mark. A little mark down. Fifty-eight twenty-three point six six. So my remaining straddle is going to be about a scratch. My remaining Wooga is going to be a little loser. My remaining NDX Wooga is going to be a little loser. My Bix is going to be good for about 2,900. My price action Bix. Gonna be good for about twenty four hundred. Mahomes is a two thousand dollar winner. Good day overall, my my friends. Good day overall. Rick kind of spoiled the party a little bit. Took a loss on that one, but otherwise all good. All right. So tomorrow's live stream, I will be running the live stream in the morning for day trading at the open, and then we will be back for power hour. All right, all have a great night. Talk to you soon.